What's going on guys? Welcome to the video and today I'm going to talk about the only actual way you can build muscle and that is progressive overload. So stay tuned to explain exactly how that works. So I hope you're all are excited as I am that gyms are finally open. You can go there, you can do your workouts, you can feel better about yourself. It's amazing, isn't it? So I'm going to talk about the only actual way you can actually build muscle if you're looking to build serious muscle mass. Now there's lots of stuff out there that people you know, claim that actually builds muscle, stuff like supersets, hit exercises, going for sort of max repetitions, you know. But the actual only way you can actually build muscle is something called progressive overload. So basically what progressive overload in a very, very simple term means is training harder than you did the workout previously basically. How hard should you train? I mean, Greg Doucette, don't you know it's training harder than last time? How hard should you train? Harder than last time. It couldn't be more simple. But what exactly are you saying here? If you could do a set and you go hard and you rest and then you go and do the same amount of reps that you didn't in fact train hard enough. The first thing we need to cover is something called neural adaptations. And what that basically means is that your nervous system basically adapts to cope with the exercise. Now, some people get this confused with something called muscle memory, but this is slightly similar, but it's completely different. So basically what this is, is that your nervous system basically tells your muscles how to cope with that exercise. So a basic scenario is you're beginning in the gym, you're going to do a bench press, and your muscles have got no idea how to cope with that bench press when you're going for it. Like all the muscles that engage haven't got a clue. So basically when you are doing that exercise, you're not getting the full efficiency of that rep basically because your muscles are clueless. It's like, what the heck is going on here? Over time, your nervous system will, will basically send messages to your muscles in order for them to engage when you do the exercise. So this is very, very similar to muscle memory, but basically what it is is your brain basically programming your muscles to be able to cope with the exercise. So you get almost 100% efficiency when you're doing the exercise. So basically like, like I said, a bench press, your shoulders, your back, your chest muscles will actually engage and know how to actually deal with that, that type of exercise basically. So you get the full motion, range of motion, which is gonna benefit you in the long term. As you, as you go up the weights, again, your neural adaptations, your nervous system will continuously tell your muscles how to cope with that exercise. And continuously tell your muscles basically to build more fibers, to cope with heavier weights, different range of motion, you know, and also to get better technique when you're doing the reps. So neural adaptation is something that always comes along. Now, secondly, progressive overload. And like I said before, it just means training harder than you did last time. Constantly making your workout slightly harder. Now this can come in three types of waves, basically. This can either come in basically by increasing the weight. So adding a little bit more weight every time to the exercise. It could be come in the form of something, what we call increasing in reps. So adding slightly more reps to exercise every time or increasing the intensity and shortness between rest periods. So basically rather than having a 30 second rest, you'd either do a superset or have a 10 second rest, just making it a little bit harder. Now here's an example of basically a progressive overload workout plan. So basically you're gonna start with something really simple like the bench press. So this is a beginner going to the gym, he's gonna start with a bench press of around 60 kilograms. He's gonna do eight reps of 60 kilograms for three sets and that's his first week basically he's gonna do that for the first week now knowing how much weight you should put on there you should be aiming for your last one or two reps to be really really hard and then in your last set you should really really struggle to push your last rep so if on your last set if you can still get that last rep out perfectly fine that weight isn't heavy enough for you that last rep on that last set should be an absolute struggle. In fact, you shouldn't even probably make it. In that second week, what you're going to do is you're going to increase the reps from eight reps to 10 reps. So you're going to do exactly the same way, but this time you're adding two more reps to every single set. And again, your last couple of reps should be really, really hard and you should be failing on your last set and your last couple of reps. Now again, on the third week, you're going to move that up to 12 reps. And again, you should be making it harder. When you've completed that 12 reps, what you're going to do is, on your fourth week, you're going to put the reps down to eight, but you're going to increase the weight now to 70 kilograms. So what this is basically going to do is, it's going to tell your muscle, well, we've been doing, you know, 60 kilograms quite easy and up to 12 reps. All of a sudden, it's got heavier weight, so you're not going to be able to do the same reps. The reason why you cut down the reps is to avoid injury. So basically, getting your muscles adapted, like we talked about before, to cope with a heavier, heavier weight, but at the lower rep rate. Now, 
you have to basically incorporate this with every single exercise you do. So it doesn't matter if you're doing the chest, it doesn't matter if you're doing your back, your biceps, your legs, whatever exercise you're doing, the only way your muscle is going to increase in size and mass and even get stronger is by doing progressive overload. Now, the very, very simple term why this is so effective is your body hates muscle. It hates excessive muscle. Your body does not want to have excessive muscle on it. The reason for that is muscle takes up so much energy and nutrients from your body, your body doesn't like it. Your body loves fat. Your body loves to store fat. Fat's the body's best friend. So if you're doing the same sort of reps and weight for a long period of time, your basically your neural system will tell your muscles to don't worry about this. We've done this before, just go to sleep and you know the body can cope with this. So you, you basically you're not telling your body, you know, something is different here. Now by adding progressive overload, basically what you're doing is you're shocking your brain saying, wait a minute, something heavy, something heavier is on this, uh, we've not used this weight before, like it's much heavier, it's like we've got to do something about it to be able to cope with this heavier weight. So basically your neural adaptation will tell your muscles, look, this is heavier than we used to, do something about it. And then what, what your muscles do is increase in size to cope with it basically, increase more fibres to be able to cope with the heavier weights or increased reps. So yeah, so that's progressive overload. You need to incorporate it in all your exercises and trust me, over time you will see the results. You know, stay with it. You know, if some, you're gonna have some weeks or some sessions where you know, you can't do heavier weights or you can't do heavy reps, don't worry about it. Take your rest, take your sleep, make sure your diet is on point and trust me, your muscles will increase in size. So all get back to the gym, all of them what you're doing and I'll see you in the next video.